Why did Charlie Gillespie have to go on strict vocal rest? How did Madison Reyes teach herself to play the piano? And how did being bullied push Owen Joyner to learn the drums? Hi, I'm Janet, making of the band. As a true Julie and the Phantoms fan, you're probably already familiar with the band's famous pop anthems like Bright and Wake Up, or even their edgier pop punk hits like Now or Never. You've belted out the lyrics, learnt the dance routines, and even pretended to be the fifth band member. And while you're rocking out with your new favorite teen stars, you'd almost swear that you were listening to an actual band. Well, it turns out, you actually are. That's right, they are a real-life band. Your favorite musical obsession, Julie and the Phantoms, aren't just pretending to be a popular musical group. They are one. So, if you thought that all their rad singing skills and awesome instrument playing were staged, think again. It's all real, and another reason why we're still obsessing over this show. In an interview, executive producer Kenny Ortega proved that he is definitely the one to thank. Ortega tells EW, quote, I wanted to find a cast that could be a band, and then I wanted to have music developed for them with their input. According to the famous director and choreographer who brought us High School Musical, the casting directors were instructed to not only find actors, but real-life musicians that could form a band and after looking at a number of musicians and actors, Ortega finally found the cast, or shall I say, the band. Jeremy Shada, aka our beloved ghostly bassist, remembers the process of becoming a real-life group, saying, in our free time, me and the guys would get into the headspace and mindset of being a band. Sitting down with Entertainment Weekly, Shada shared that quote, every time we went into the recording studio, we were given the chance to just mess around and have fun with things, and it was like this free-flowing. In fact, one of their hit songs songs. You've Got Nothing to Lose is an example of the band making their songs their own, as they all decided to come up with their own solos instead of being given them by producers. In an interview with PRS Guitars, Charlie Gillespie shared how their successes as a band even surprised him, with the guitarist saying, I never thought that I'd be part of a band that would make it to the number one album on iTunes. And to top that, it only took six days after the release. And with such catchy songs, it's easy to see how this album went straight to the top of the charts. Skills that come at a price. Did you know that the band members play live during the shooting of the show? Each and every one of the bandmates were expected to become musical experts instead of pretending to play. The group therefore had to prepare before filming kicked off, with the main cast heading out to a six week long performance boot camp. This is where they began all of their acting, singing, dancing, and instrument training to make sure that the portrayals of their roles were absolutely perfect and most importantly, real. And here's some behind the scenes footage to prove it. Gillespie later shared that it felt like the most immersive masterclass. We worked on our instruments every day. We had like six weeks together rehearsing and honing our skills before filming. In fact, getting to play their instruments in real time even shocked Jeremy Shada, with the bassist saying, it's actually us playing these songs as a band. We're not just actors anymore. We are a band. But they aren't all just playing their own instruments. They're all singing too. So much so that one of the band members even lost their voice. Chatting to EW, Gillespie spoke about the scary experience Experience. I was so into it that I lost my voice. I had to be on voice rest for two weeks when we started rehearsing, and it was the scariest thing. But after a few weeks, he got his voice back, and the recording of their chart-topping album began. Secrets come to light. It seems like the talent between these stars just doesn't end. Just when we thought we couldn't be more impressed, they go and dazzle us again, this time around with an original song written by two of the bandmates. That's right. While the band does sing and help produce songs, most of them are written by the show's music executives, except for Perfect Harmony. Madison Reyes and Gillespie actually wrote the ballad themselves. The inspiration came from Gabriella and Troy's moment on the rooftop when it's raining in High School Musical, Reyes says. We worked on it in all our free time. When Perfect Harmony plays in the first season, it's a huge moment for Julie and Luke's relationship. So, Ortega was originally planning on hiring a professional songwriter to create the song, but it turned out that he already had a natural songwriter's cast. Me and Madison just saw the opportunity, and we took it and ran and started writing in secret, Gillespie says. In fact, both Madison and Charlie decided to keep it a secret from the crew until they had perfected the song. The two eventually pitched the song to Ortega, who immediately fell in love with it. Reliving the moment, Ortega shared just how impressed he was. They finished and I was like, that was gorgeous. Who wrote that? And they looked at each other and laughed and said, we did. Ortega sent the song to the studio immediately, and the rest is history. 
the artists behind the instruments. Charlie Gillespie. Just listening to Charlie perform Unsaid Emily is all the proof you need to see why he is a natural-born star. But the Canadian-born actor does a whole lot more than sing and play guitar. He's quite the musician, too, playing not one, not two, but eight different instruments. They include the bass, trombone, ukulele, tuba, piano, violin, and saxophone. And it looks like he's more than happy to help teach you. So we're gonna start off, folks, it's super easy. We got four chords, four chords that we're gonna move around with. How did Charlie master all of these instruments? Practice, practice, and more practice. And with the help of his incredibly musical family, it comes as no surprise that he would follow in their footsteps. Owen Joyner, the Sunset Curve drummer, who is known for being a little more on the quiet side, definitely knows how to throw his vocals onto a track every now and then, and fans love it. But it seems that the former Nickelodeon star had his own real-life Julie moment when he also rediscovered his passion for music. When the blonde-haired actor landed the role of Alex, he was encouraged to begin playing the drums again. In an Instagram post he shared, I only started playing the drums again for at Julie and the Phantoms and hadn't played since I was 12. I probably wouldn't have ever really played again. So thanks at Kenny Ortega blog. And while we all love seeing him rock out on a drum set, he can also play the percussions and the guitar too. But just because we love seeing him on the drums doesn't mean he always enjoyed it. In an interview with 1883 Magazine, the Oklahoma-born drummer explained how loving music and theater wasn't exactly cool if you were a guy, which is why he decided to switch to drums. Chatting about his choice in musical instruments, the actor explained that choosing the drums seemed like the most masculine choice, saying, I thought to myself, hey, I won't get bullied. I can still rock out to some music, but maybe my friends won't make fun of me as much. And it's clear that his strategy worked. It has gotten him on a Netflix series. But his drum playing is more than just a fun thing to do. It is also quite the stress reliever for the actor. I literally sit down, put on my headphones, put on a playlist, and I'll just play through that playlist. And then I stand up and I feel better. We think that all fans can agree that his drumming has had the same effect on them too. Jeremy Shada. Completing the Phantom Trio is Reggie, AKA Jeremy Shada, who plays both bass and the obvious class clown of the group. Many fans have noted that his bass playing seems particularly good, and there's a reason for that. He is a bass guitarist for another real life band. Yes, it seems Shada thoroughly enjoys band life, as this is the second one he is in. You know, after our beloved Julie and the Phantoms, of course. He is part of an indie rock band called Make Out Monday, where he can be seen showing off his smooth bassist skills. Shada also sings and has been known to showcase his rather impressive rapping abilities too. And even with all of these musical experiences under his belt, the actor realized that they were all clearly in preparation for his role as Reggie. It felt like the whole time doing the Make Out Monday music was almost, in a weird way, a long-term preparation for playing this role and being in this project. Also, it seems that this downtime period has allowed the actor to expand his musical talents with the bassist taking time out to learn how to play guitar. We can't help but wonder if he'll do any acoustic stuff for the Shadenators should the show be picked up for a second season. Madison Reyes. Lastly, the star of the show and the main reason why all of the band's songs are still stuck in our heads, Madison Reyes. Our favorite musical star is known for one of her best instruments being her incredible voice. Adored for her textured and layered tone, it's no wonder that she has everyone completely obsessed. And when it comes to performing, the actress shares her strategy, telling LA Times that, we like to think that we're a band first, and then actress is an actor second, said Reyes of her on-screen bandmates. This obviously worked for the star, as Reyes sings all of Julie's songs in Julie and the Phantoms. But the actress is bringing more to the stage than just her vocals. She plays piano, too. And she's self-taught, too. I didn't want my mom to spend money on an expensive vocal coach or lessons, so I just taught myself some things. I also used to play the violin. In my freshman year, I started piano, mostly just learning songs off YouTube. The actress later shared that she hopes that her talents and music helps bring people together. And that's exactly what it's done. Which character's musical talent shocked you the most? And whose musical journey inspired you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.